Yes, an aircraft is homing onto a station on a heading of 270 degrees. So the heading is 270 degrees. What are the obvious? 100. It's 100 degrees. You are asked to find out all the other number. What is the aircraft doing? Is it going towards the station or moving away from the station? Homing. That's so. Right. So the whole effort is to the station. All right. So here, a uh, couple of things which you have to understand here. Let's just kind of recap what we studied in the previous class. What does this OBS mean? What what is what is this omni bearing selection? What is it? What does it represent? It is the desired uh, radial. That's right. It is a desired radial. And uh, VOR VOR has different indications. What are the different uh, indications of VOR? RMI. RMI. CDI. CDI, HSI, and HSI, right? So we are particularly looking at CDI here because CDI indication or HSI is the one which has OBS in it. You can take HSI or CDI, but CDI is going to be more easier, right? So what is OBS? OBS is a selected radian. Now we have seen that all the displays on the CDI, whether it is a CDI needle, whether it is a flag, all these, all these will depend upon uh, the the OBS radio. It has nothing to do with your uh, heading. And we, we saw that in the simulator uh, that which I showed you in the last class where you can keep turning the aircraft at different headings but uh, it's not going to change the, uh, the OBS, the, the indication of the CDI. The pilot is going to see exactly the same thing. Right? Let's, let's, uh, let's draw the uh, CDI indication here. Uh, let's see how, see how that looks like. So if nothing is mentioned, we always look at a 5 dot CDI. Uh, center being the first dot, second, third, fourth, and fifth dot. One, two, three, four, five. What is the full scale deflection of a CDI? Of a VOR CDI? 10 degrees. And that's all what we can indicate here. We have the two flag here and we have the from flag here. All those things are there. Now, what are you asked to find out? What is the first question? You're asked to find out uh, the. Uh, it's homing oh. to the station. Since the selected radial, not the radial of the aircraft, selected radial is 100 degrees, this is a radial of 100 degrees. And if I continue drawing that straight, you can see this is the radial of 100 degrees. And we have seen this in the previous class. If I draw a perpendicular to this, we have seen this in that sim section. Uh, what are these radials? This, this could be a radial of 100 minus 90, zero which one is zero. Zero, one, 0, and this is 100 plus 90. One. One nine zero, right? Nine, so, one nine zero. That's right. Yes. So this is the this is what is called as the head of the selected radial, and this is what is called as the tail of the selected radial, right? But the whole concept of radial is only valid on the head side. That is always from the station. We are still drawing a tail side to understand the from and two sides. Now this portion is what is the head. from side or on the head of the uh, needle. And this is the on the tail T for two on the two side. Now it's very important to understand the sensing, to understand the flag. It's very important that you place the aircraft appropriately. We know one information given here that the aircraft is homing towards the station, which is which means it is coming to the station. So the aircraft can come. The aircraft can come to the station like this. This is what is called coming to the station, right? And this is what is called moving away from the station right so the aircraft can be on on any heading and come towards the station the aircraft can be on a heading of 90 degree coming towards the station it can be also on a heading of 90 degree but now moving away from the station the aircraft can be on a heading of 270 coming towards the station it can be also on a heading of 270 but moving away from the station so here along with whether it is moving to or from you also should know what the heading is this is the only time when we look at heading we look at heading to determine the sensing of the aircraft and to position the aircraft. So since I won't know the sensing here, the heading of the aircraft is 270 degrees and it is moving to the station. This is possible. First what you can do is just place the aircraft on the heading of 270 and then move the aircraft in such a way that it is actually coming towards the station. So it has to be somewhere here. Otherwise the aircraft cannot be coming towards the station on a heading of 270. This should avoid the confusion of placing the aircraft. Right? So now the aircraft is coming. I cannot draw it here because I don't know what radial the aircraft is on. 
but it is somewhere here but the aircraft is somewhere uh, over here coming to a station so if i place the aircraft, dry, aircraft randomly here say for example i am on the front side moving to the station so if it is exactly opposite i am on the front side moving to the station on the from side moving to the station what sensing is this it has to be a reverse sensing so as I have just told you if it is on the from side moving to a station or to side moving from the station it's reverse sensing if it is on the from side but moving from the station or on the two side moving to the station it's command sensing and what's the meaning of reverse sensing you follow exactly opposite to what the instrument tells you which means the cdi indicates fly right you fly left the cdi indicates fly left you fly right right so let's uh, look at the 21st data here the sensing is reverse only then you will be able to draw this uh, cdi indication here now what will you what can you say about the flag here so it's a front flag. Why is it a front flag? Because we are on the head side. We are on the head side. Doesn't matter what your heading is. I can keep the aircraft here and keep protecting it. Doesn't matter whether the aircraft is coming to the station or moving away from the station. If it is on the head side of the radial, of the selected radial, the flag is always going to indicate a front flag. If it is on the tail side, the flag is always going to indicate two flags. So it's a very common uh, misconception that uh, if you are moving towards a station it is a two flag and moving from the station it's a front flag no absolutely not so we have seen that in the previous class you can keep the aircraft on the front side and keep protecting and the flag always remains from it doesn't switch to two when does it switch to two or two or from when you cross this perpendicular radial that is when it switches we have seen that right so what flag is it it is the front flag because you are on the head side of the selected radio. Which of these flags is the front flag? Oh, the below. Below one. It's a front flag. It's moving from the station. Alright. Now, uh, what are they asking here? So, CDI, two front uh, indications. Uh, right. Type of sensing. Is a two front indication? Is a front indication. Type of sensing is a reverse sensing. Remember, 100 is not the radio of the aircraft. It is selected radial. Aircraft could be on any other radial, right? Yes. So you can choose a radial that is anywhere here. So you tell me a radial where you think the aircraft could be placed here. Hey, any radial? It can be any of uh, this nine zero zero nine zero radial. So what is that? That is this one. Okay. Yes. Now you can tell me how will the CDI look like? So we are to the right of. Yeah, so you are on 090 degree. radial and you selected 100 degrees OBS radial. Uh, yes. That's You're a right. 10 degree off. That's a 10 so, degrees off. Yes. Uh, Let's play the aircraft here. 090. The aircraft right is. Oh, sorry. Does this look like 090? I'll oh, just keep it 090. Fine. Uh, anyways, the aircraft is on a heading of 270, like this straight here. So as you rightly said, if it was a command sensing, I would have asked you to fly uh, left. Left. We are supposed yeah. to fly left, but since it is on reverse sensing, it's going to ask you to fly uh, yeah. right. 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 So what is the indication? It's a fly right indication. Full right deflection. That's right. So what is the CDI indication? Fly right indication. What are you supposed to do? What are the corrective action required? Is fly left. Left. Because if you keep flying right, nothing is going to happen. The CDI needle is going to be exactly where it is. Where can I draw the needle? Full right. That's right. Maximum C uh, VOR CDI full scale reflection is 10 degrees, and you are off by 10 degrees. Therefore, it's going to be the needle is going to be here. Five dot system. Each dot is two degrees. Remember, not uh, not to forget the center, uh, the edge of the first dot as uh, for, uh, uh, edge of the center One, dot as the degree. first dot. Right. 
So this is how the CDI looks like. You have to understand that I am on a heading of 270 OBS is 100 and for that reason it is a reverse sensing therefore it is asking me to fly right, I have to fly left. 10 degrees or more it is going to get stuck at 10 degrees because there is no other further indication. Alright, yes, so what is the corrective action, action here? Fly left. Fly left. It's a very common mistake people say that fly left by 10 degrees. No, you have to fly left by five dots to correct for five dots, not by 10 degrees. If you fly left by 10 degrees, it means you're just flying left by 10 degrees. And you could keep flying as long as you want. You're just flying left such a way that you have you count off all this 10 degrees of closing angle. That's all. But yes, uh, this is how the CDI would look like. Right? So let me draw the same CDI here. 100 degrees, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now let's put a different radial here. If I, ha I had assumed a radial of 108 um, degrees, 108 degrees, then you can draw how the CDI would look like in that case. The aircraft is initially on a radial of 108 degrees and you have, you have OBS 100 degrees. So the aircraft is here. Remember? Okay. The aircraft is still on a heading of 270, which is here, 270, yeah, tell me. So if it was command sensing, it would be 4 dot fly right. Fly right, yes. So now the needle will be 4 dot left. That's right, it's a very good uh, statement, 4 dot, not by 10 degrees or 8 degrees, it's 4 dot fly right or 4 or fly left. So here. Command sensing would have been fly right, but since it's in the reverse sensing mode, it's four dot fly left indication. So how would that CDI look like? Let's see. Why is it four dot? Eight degrees. Eight degrees. Five dot system. One dot is two degrees. Eight degrees corresponds to four dots. Center is the, the edge of the center. A circle is taken as the first dot. Two, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Remember, nothing is mentioned. It's always a five dot system. And then we have the OBS radial as 100. Any change in the flag? Uh, it's, still, it's still a wrong flag. It's still a wrong flag, yes. So here it is a 4 dot, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's a 4 dot fly. Fly left indication. So here you can see that this is fly right indication by 5 dots. Here is going to be a 4 dot fly left indication. What is the corrective action? 4 dot right. But fly right by 4 dots. So keep flying, looking at the needle and once the needle is centered, uh, I'll keep it centered now after that. Now if, you, if I assume that the radial, initial radial of the aircraft was 90 degrees, what should I, what OBS should I make if I want to center the needle at the current position? I didn't need to check. So here, I'm here. Now, if I want to center the needle, what am I supposed to do? I have to fly left. It will, it will ask me to fly right, but, but since it's reverse sensing, I have to fly left. Oh, that is one way of right. centering the needle. The other way of centering the needle, how can I center the needle at the current position without moving away from the 0 90 radial if I want to center the needle? What should I do? Oh, center it, then touch the OBS. So. Uh, if Which, you want to center the needle, desired radial should be uh, the current radial. The desired radial should be the current radial. Right? 